Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play The Awakened Fate. Um, so I did a bit of grinding, I got myself a warehouse, we're gonna actually do that. Going into the warehouse section and uh, picking a few things to take into the next area. I'm gonna take some poison leaves and antidotes. Um, let's grab this lock jag gem thing. Too, Cause I, I think I can put that in my sword and that might help me out a bit. Um, I don't think I have anything else particular. We're gonna take another apple just in case. Um, also, let me see. Where's it at? Item boost, right? Can I put the gem in my sword? That's the question. Uh, I mean, I can't switch categories, so... I'm gonna go with no. We need two of the same object to do that. Because if that's so, I can do that. I got a Yakuza, two Yakuza knives, right? There's one in the storehouse somewhere or not. Does it not work? Yeah, for the knife. Oh, it can combine with the dagger or stone axe. I see the stone axe. Get it up a bit more. Alright. That's fine, I think. Let's go to the next event. Uh, last time around, we were trying to get stronger, so we went to so, Ariel about her, her training that she wants to do with me. I have reviewed the content of his training. The amount and the time has increased compared to before. Out of impatience, he was trying to train excessively, so I put a stop to that. He is currently following my regimen. As for the crystal's condition, the output is stable and the synchronization with his body is excellent. It's growing rather smoothly. Let me rephrase the question. Is he becoming stronger? All I want to know is in regards to that. He is becoming stronger. The result of his actual combat experience and his training is possibly creating a multiplier effect. As of now, I believe he would be able to keep up against devils of even medium status. We cannot be satisfied with devils of merely medium status. After all, he is to be our ultimate weapon. The value of his maximum output is soaring. He is definitely becoming stronger. I see. That is good to hear. I am looking forward to his success on the next operation. Thank you for the report. You are dismissed. Um, Miss Ariel? What's up, Jupy? About Sir Shin, what are your thoughts on his current state? That's a vague question. What's on your mind? It'll be easier to answer if you ask me what you want to know specifically. Sir Shin came to the desire of pursuing power just recently. Considering everything he has been through, it is understandable that he would yearn for more power. But at his current state, eventually... Yes, he will reach his limit soon enough. Huh? What are you two doing together? Sir Shin. Jupiel, I want to train now. Is that okay? Let us take a little break. You need to rest. I don't need to rest. More importantly, what should I do next? Hurry up and teach me how to get stronger. Don't overwork yourself. <laughs> Your current condition is far too frantic. You're overloaded, both physically and mentally. Just no, I'm not. Rest for now. Uh. What the hell? You're both telling me to rest? You want me to become a strong god, right? That's why you embedded this crystal into me. I'm telling you to rest because it would be far more troublesome if you self-destruct from being too reckless. Be reasonable. D don't treat me like a kid. It's fine. If you're not going to help me out, I'll do it by myself. Sir Shin. That is really not a good sign. We should brace ourselves for the worst possible outcome. 
Damn, they just know I'm gonna get in trouble? Come on. Have faith. Our next target has been decided. We will attack the Ami Magic Refinery. Ami. It is a factory that refines and redistributes all the magic that passes through the entire netherworld. It is a high value target. I see. So, in terms of my world, it's like a power plant. By attacking this target, we will decrease the functionality of other vital facilities, which will give us an advantage in future operations. If that's the case, why did you wait until now to attack? The guards stationed at the Ami Magic Refinery are all above intermediate devil status. One mistake, and we will only increase our losses. But we have increased our military power now that we have you on our side. With your power, we can now succeed. That is basically it. Understood. So you want me to infiltrate the facility and destroy it then? That is exactly right. Will you be able to do it? Of course I'll do it. Please, let me do it. Thank you. Jupio, Ario, I shall leave the battle preparations to you. Hey, Kamikaze, what in the world do you intend to do? What are you talking about? Don't what me. Devils will not be easily defeated with such a thin veneer of power, you know. Devils above intermediate status are especially monstrous. They're strong enough to turn the tables, even against ten regular angels. No matter how much power you yearn for, it's not like you can become stronger that easily. If this goes poorly, you're going to die. <laughs> Sir Shin, it is just as Ariel said. Even if you haphazardly seek such power, it does not mean you can win. What is important on the battlefield is not simply military power, but the ability to calmly read the situation and adapt to it. I have seen many people die on the battlefield because they were too confident in their power. I do not want you to end up the same way. Understood. You're completely right. I'll be careful. Since they're being far too noisy, nosy, noisy, bleh, I just half acidly responded by nodding my head to calmly read the situation. Could all of the situations I've been in till now have been solvable if I had stayed calm? No, they couldn't. Even if I was calm, someone would have played the Joker. I still would have faced unreasonable circumstances. Why would Jupiel and Ariel be against my gaining of power? I thought they would have gladly helped me. What's wrong with seeking power for the sake of saving people? I'll show you my power. No, you won't, because you want me to not have power. Uh, let's actually save it. So we don't have to listen to that uh, scene again. So yeah, I'm level 17. We're on mission 4, the Howling Raging Beast. Apparently we're going to be going into this power plant. We're going to see how we fare. Hopefully I don't get massacredly owned. As I have a feeling I would. Or will. We will see though. We will see. Magic refinery. I hate these things. Come on. Come on. Go. It said 10 floors, right? 10 floors. This area. I don't know, 18. I thought it was 17. Lots of med kits around here. Kissy demon. Oh, nice. I got to see the field pretty much. That's good. Give me that. That. And on to the next floor. Oh, hello, guys. 
shouldn't be sleeping on a job. Oh. Easy enough. Third floor of the magic refinery. What does that do? White wing? Perfect. Doesn't look like it does anything. I don't know. I'll leave it on though. For the heck of it. Buckler, boost pills. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow. I even see those guys on the field. Heal up in this zone and then go down to the six. Hello. Seventh floor. You guys sleeping on the job. Ugh. Mirror shield. Ooh. Mine's is what? Defense 4, Mirror Shift, Defense 5. Definitely equip that. A floor. Demons come all over the place. Ow. That sounds wrong, but they are coming from all over the place. Nine. Tenth floor. Did we make it, or do I gotta make my way through the tenth floor? Of the Army Magic Refinery. I see. The ambiance totally screams that too. This is where we lost contact with the scout team. They were some of our most experienced soldiers, but they must already. So basically, this is guaranteed to be a difficult battle. Does that make you happy, Kamikaze? Are you being sarcastic or something? This is Jubiel. Sister, can you hear me? Just as planned, we have arrived at the core of the refinery. Roger. The detachment will arrive soon enough. Once you rendezvous with them, be prompt with the detonation and then return. Understood. Once we rendezvous with the detachment, we will proceed with the detonation. 
Sir Shin, until the detachment arrives, we will be on standby. <laughs> oh, this like weird voice, the little thing that was talking to the he and guy. Despite her appearance, you must not let your guard down. She is General Phyllis Izayoi, leader of the Celestia Annihilation Force. She is foul, underhanded, and dangerous. Through the use of various evil schemes, she has risen to the ruling class of the Netherworld. That's one hell of an evaluation. I guess a straight-laced bitch like you wouldn't get it. Phyllis just wants all progress to be rational. Hey, skinny boy over there! You're the one, right? Celestia's god? Hey! It's, it, it, I'm only kind of skinny. Well, I'm skinny. Let's just tell. Come on. Why do you not come over here and confirm it yourself? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Phyllis specializes in brain work. Don't go categorizing her with muscle brain idiots like you. Besides, Celestia's god actually took the time to come all the way out here. So we gotta greet him with a decent level of response, you know. Ah, the good is boy is Celestia's god. <gasps> Kamikaze, Jupi, be careful. The this vile god of the Netherworld. The vile god. The Netherworld's god? Nobody told me anything about that. <laughs> I am terribly sorry, Sir Shin. We did not intend to hide this from you, but we angels are facing extinction. In order to turn the tide of this war, angels of the various Celestias have had difficulty creating God. So, in order to create our God, we decided to abduct Miss Ariel from the Netherworld and make her create God with a Fate Awakening crystal. Because she created this God, maybe? What are you trying to say? Basically, this guy is a God that I created using the Fate Awakening oh, yeah. crystal. Just like you. Does that mean he was also originally a human? Yes, that's basically it. Wow. Hey, you three! Why are you ignoring Phyllis? And what are you mumbling about? Do you want us to friggin' kill you? I'm Hien. Hien Inugami. I am the man who was chosen by fate to become the vile god of the netherworld. Boy, what is your name? Shin Kamikaze. Though we have no personal resentment for each other, as gods of opposing forces, we are fated to kill each other. Let's fight fair and square. Hey, Kamikaze, he's not an opponent that you can defeat at your current level. Retreat. Vile god. A god that was created using the Fate Awakening crystal. Just like me. We just happen to belong to opposing forces and we both used to be humans. If at all possible, I do not want to fight him. Besides, even if he's an enemy, if I kill a human, I really will no longer be human. As a courtesy, to face the guide of Celestia, I shall give it my all. I really have a strong desire to retreat. But you're not going to let me escape, right? Why are you hesitating, god of Celestia? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> if you do not wish to die, put all of your heart, mind, and strength into coming at me. Oh. We're battling him? Alright. I should actually be using these, shouldn't I? Uh, Gil, run. Do it. After you put it on, that's what I want to know. Cause I put it on, I don't know how to use it. Uh, action, no. Others, manual. About dungeons, controls. R3 plus L1. Jeez. Really plows it in, doesn't he? Mm. Ow!
Am I gonna die? Do I have a medkit M? No. And he has this. Ow. I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> Turn back in your resonant form. I think I'm going to die. He's just taking way too much for me to survive, and I'm out of potions. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> what a disappointment. He's like a total bitch ass weenie. Talk about a major letdown. You don't gotta rub it in. Hey, what are you doing? If you can't retreat, kill him. Otherwise, you're gonna die. But this guy's also human, right? There's no way I can kill him. Boy, you call yourself a god imbued with the same power as me? You are far too weak. This cannot be considered an honorable fight. It was foolish of me to expect anything at all. I will at least show you mercy. I shall kill you in one blow, so that you can die without suffering. So this is it, huh? This is gonna be the second time I'm going to die. Halt! On behalf of the God of Celestia, as his personal angel, I shall be your opponent. Jubil! I must warn you. I will not go easy on anyone I face on the battlefield. Not even if they're women or children. <laughs> no need to be considerate, Kian. That girl is Jupio Sorumi. She's the annoying younger Sorumi sister. I see. In that case, looks like I will have some fun after all. Jupio, you can't. Even if it's only you, run. There is no way I can comply with that. I am your exclusively assigned angel. Leave this place to me and retreat. There's no way I can... Please, hurry! If you were to die, it would mean that the only ray of hope Celestia has left will be snuffed out. She's right. Jupy's call is the correct choice. You too, Ariel? What are you talking about? Shut up. One minute you say that you want power, and now you whine about how you can't fight since he's a fellow human? A whiny kid like you, who can't even assess the situation properly, should shut up and do what the adults say. We can't allow you to die. But... Lady Jubiel, we shall back you up! Looks like the detachment has finally arrived, but their timing is terrible. Now the number of victims is, go is only gonna increase. <laughs> Celestia's detachment? Just kidding. It's totally cool. Hey, Hien! Since their timing's so great, kill them all right now! Sure thing. Entering the proper place to meet your death is a soldier's honor. Come at me from any angle. If this continues, it won't be good. If I don't fight, Jupio will... ...to actually let someone else die because I'm too weak. Didn't I want power because I didn't want this ever to happen again? That's it. I want power! I want unrivaled power! For the sake of that, I'm willing to exchange anything I have. It's not like I ever had anything I need to protect to begin with. That's right, I'll do it. I'm gonna bring out more and more power from the Fate Awakening Crystal that's embedded in my chest. Oh, Crystal, my lifespan. 
or my soul or whatever. You can have as much as you'd like of it. So, so give me power. <laughs> what the hell? Huh? What just happened? Huh? What the heck is this? Phyllis wasn't told anything what about this. What the hell? Does he, does he? He's like half of both. Sir, Sir Shin. Hey. Kamikaze? Don't touch Jupiter! I swing down my fist with all my might and he blocks it with his arms. However, he can't withstand the impact and falls back. What is this power? It's as if he's a completely different person than before. Defeat! I'm going to defeat him! To actually have this much power within him. However, I've had enough of you getting carried away. No matter how enormous the power I've obtained is, his skill with the power is overwhelming. Ian's fist stabs through my stomach area, but for some reason it doesn't hurt at all. Is this also the power of the crystal? Oh, amazing! This is God's power! Lady Jubil, will we be able to win? No. He is relying solely on his power. If he continues to fight in this manner, he will eventually... I can do it. The power is flowing through me. I feel like I couldn't lose to anyone, even a god in this state. I can win. No! Stop Kamikaze at once. I'm getting abnormal readings from the energy output of the crystal. If this continues, the burden on his body will become far too much. Ugh. Miss Arya, are you all right? Because our souls are linked, it might be affecting our bodies as well. This kind of side effect was unforeseen. However, the one we should be worrying about is Kamikaze. If he continues to fight with this power output, his body may collapse. Stop him. Uh, understood. Everyone, if this continues, it will be very dangerous. Please help me stop Sir Shin, our god. You want us to stop that? But with our power levels? I am well aware that this is beyond excessive. However, if this continues, we may lose God. We have no choice but to stop him. Take this! My kick easily blows Heen away, despite the fact that his body is like twice the size of mine. I can win. I've become invincible. He, he is coming this way! Be careful! Please dodge! <laughs> Jupy, are you alright? I am. Barely. However, the others... <laughs> Interesting to actually manifest such power. I've, I've been waiting for this, for the day a worthy rival like you would appear. Shut up! Just shut up and die already! As long as I have this power, I can't lose this time. I would definitely save everyone. As long as I defeat this guy, I can protect everyone. And Jupiel won't have to die either. What is that noise? It sounds like something is creaking. This is bad. Kamikaze's body is screaming. With his body's current strength, he can't withstand the energy. He's going to explode. Th that Sister! Sister! Please come in. Sir Shin is in danger. I request immediate support. He is in danger? Report the situation to me in full detail. Sir Shin is currently engaged in battle with a vile god. The output of the crystal is abnormal, and he is wielding a horrendous amount of power. However, according to Miss Ariel, his body is reaching its limit. If this continues, there is a possibility that Sir Shin will break. 
I see. Understood. Continue with the current situation. Sister? We cannot stop him with our power levels. Also, if he does break it this time, he will never be able to become a true god. <laughs> I fought countless powerful beings before, but none were as skilled as you, boy. I'll defeat you! I'll defeat you right here! Fine, then. This battle will continue until one of us stops breathing. Let us fight! Here! Huh? The ground? Why did I collapse? What the heck happened just now? I don't have any injuries. I feel totally fine and I'm not even tired. I, I gotta stand up. I gotta defeat him. Huh? My body's going rubbery. What is this? Sir Shin! Are you alright? Sir Shin! He has reached his limit. Jupy, hurry up and retrieve him. It's getting darker and colder. It's like the quiet world is drastically trying to take over my body. Why did something like this happen? I just wanted more power. Huh? This place is... The ceiling looks familiar. The lab? Ariel's room. It looks like someone's standing before me, but everything's so hazy I can't really see. That's... You better entertain me. Oh, are you awake now? Ariel? That's right. Where is he? What happened to that Hean guy? Calm down. Hean's not here. You're back in Celestia. In Celestia? What happened? Well, the operation became too difficult to continue, so you had to retreat. Your body overheated because you used too much of the crystal's power. If you continued to be reckless like that, you could have died. Can't believe they actually let us go. He didn't let you go. He told you to train more and come back. He's such an old-fashioned guy, as always. So basically, the operation was a failure. The angels lost. <laughs> What's so funny? I was able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe against the vile god. Just as I thought. I wasn't wrong. Uh, kamikaze? That's right. As long as I have this power, it's okay. The power to defeat any devil, including him. Next time, I'll have even more power. Kamikaze, you know... Leave it to me, Ariel. I won't lose next time. I'll make that Hean guy regret he overlooked me. Ariel, I want more power. Make it so that I can access even more of the crystal's power. Meaning, you believe that you can do anything as long as you have the power? That is the conclusion you have reached, huh? Yeah, and you can make progress with your crystal research. So it'll be like killing two birds with one stone, right? I see. You sure have become an extremely boring fellow. Boring? What do you mean? On the one hand, I thought your mental weakness was a disability. But I was going to count your empathy for people's pain as a virtue. In the end, you yearned for physical power. But the moment you obtained it, you drowned in your power. How very disappointing. What are you talking about? Nothing really. As you said, he who has power wins, and he who doesn't loses. That's the undeniable truth. However, having physical power doesn't mean you'll obtain victory every time. That is another undeniable truth. I have no idea what you mean. If I can say one thing, in your current state of drowning in power and yearning only for more, you're no god. You're just a monster. A monster? Me? That's right. At this time, you're more akin to Frankenstein's monster. Even though we tried to create a god, 
we ended up creating you, a monster. Burn! He who fights monsters should see to it that he himself does not become a monster. And if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. From what I recall, those were the words of a human philosopher. <laughs> How very clever. Sir Shin, so you have awakened. Uh, yeah, you will. Have you recovered already? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, did you get hurt, Jubil? I am all right. It was only a minor wound. I see. I'm relieved. You are relieved? Then you must not remember. Huh? Well, what are you talking about? That Don't he worry did it. About the next battle. I'm gonna get even stronger, so I'll definitely win next time. Sir Shin, what has happened to you? This is not like you. You should be someone with compassion, who grieved over Melio, Julio, and even Rocchio. I haven't changed one bit. All I wish for is to save all the angels who are suffering from this war. But in order for me to do that, I need unrivaled power. But you already know that, don't you, Jubiel? No. You are not Sir Shin. <laughs> what are you saying? Of course I'm me. No, you are not. To be intoxicated with power, to only seek more power, the current you is just a devil. A devil? Did you just call me a devil? What the heck? Both of you are calling me things like a monster or devil. You're the ones who forced me into becoming God. What's wrong with seeking power? Because I didn't have enough power, I had to endure bitter experiences over and over again. In the end, power is everything. As long as I have power, as long as I have enough power, everything will turn out all right. Sir Shin, I did not want to tell you this, but most of the damage from the last operation was caused by you, rather than the devils. Huh? When you became too focused on fighting Hien, you endangered a lot of angels. Didn't you notice? There were massive casualties. You're lying. That's impossible. Is she saying that I ended up killing everyone with the power I was using to save everyone? It's a lie. That's just ridiculous. If you think we're lying, just ask anyone from the detachment who survived. Of course, it's doubtful that they'll chat with you. A lot of people have pinned the blame for this mission's failure on you. There's a hot debate between the leaders over how to deal with you. Sir Shin... You will not be allowed to train for the time being. You are required to get some rest. To put it simply, you're under house arrest. Well, you are responsible for all those things. It's a miracle you're getting off that easy. However, if you're really unlucky, they might just spoke. Miss Ariel. Is this really my fault? Am I to blame? Did all this happen just because I wanted more power? Then what should I have done? Should I have slight silently been forced to make impossible decisions without complaining why did something like this happen i don't know what should i have done that night i don't feel like going to the plaza like i normally do during the day the angels who passed by me all looked at me with fear or anger in their eyes ironically enough that was all the proof i needed i endangered a lot of angels during my battle with he and I led a lot of angels to their deaths. No, I killed them. Before I even realized it, I was already sneaking out of Celestia. doing nothing i don't want to do anything anymore nothing good ever happens when i do something using power is not bad it's normal for those who have power to use it normal huh i tried that i ended up hurting everyone i was trying to protect i'm sorry but can you just leave me alone this time 
don't feel like talking. Okay. But don't forget, your fate is already in motion. Nobody can stop it. Mission 5. The Suburbs of Loss. Returning to the human world was surprisingly easy. They probably didn't even consider the possibility that I'd try to escape. Alright, we're gonna end this here, guys. Um, we'll start Mission 5 next time. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. And, uh, we'll explore the human world, I guess, next time. See you later.